Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode. I am playing Morrowind. This is my fighter. You know, wearing gold because that's how she rolls. She's uh, running across Vardenfell with a new companion, Raven, who is a bard, a dire singer, and Constance because Constance is cool and she doesn't keep shouting, hey, wait for me. It's also my pack war, but I'm gonna leave him there for now because um, it's quite cumbersome. At the end of the previous episode, I tried to get started with my quest to be the Delvani hold to tour, but none of those people are the ones I needed to talk to. They're just a mouse, and I believe I need to talk to one of the masters. I don't really know which one just yet. Really, what I should do is get myself the the book of Delvani. Is it red, blue? One of those. So I have the list. I'm just checking if I don't have it. No, I don't. Um, and then I'll try to visit each of the master and uh, mistress and see which one is going to give me my quest. Uh, then what do I have? I did get some information about a place where I can get a loot for my companion, Raven. And that, I'm uh, taking my uh, high-tech journal. That is in Aldrin, in Aldrin I actually have, I need to talk to the Fighters Guild to get guards for my stronghold, that's important. Um, there's uh, Sarathy who's worried about his son being weak, but I think I did try to talk to the son before and there was nothing. And uh, someone in the Lathry Manor is looking for a vampire hunter, so I'm thinking Aldrin for now, see what's up in my in my, uh, well it's not my hometown, but you know, it is uh, a place I know very well, being a member of House Redoran. Now, again, after they kicked me out, for well, no good reason, it's looking good. It's so nice to have um, different setups of, uh, of Morrowind. So even uh, even well, cities from one game to the to other, they look quite different. That's cool. I like it. Oh, things are really getting worse, aren't they? Oh, oh. Speak freely, friend. Yes. Just want to it. go to the Guild of Mages. That's what I want to do. Companions following me, all right. I need to go to Balmora as well to place these two books that I bought in uh, Raven's bookcase so she can use those spells as well. My patience is limited. I'm thinking I should do that now. Let's go to Arbor. Not to mention, I can check the bookshop here. Ah, oh, it's such a pleasure to run fast. I love my bard, but oh my goodness, it's such a pain to walk around. Do you need something? I should uh, do that quest for Louis Beauchamp at some point. Would you be the person I need to talk to? Yes, uh, na, 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 na. yes, that's not what I want. I want to recruit, maybe I need to talk to the man in charge here. Young Perseus. No, I don't want order or advancement because, you know. I need to talk to this guy. To the my private room, the chest you will find a suit of armor they were mine from years ago. Oh, this is new. Um, because before my game, uh, not my game, but my hard disk had a critical failure, I actually did become the guild master because I challenged Stirring Hot Art to a duel. And I'm really hoping to do that. I don't want to. 
I don't want to go and, you know, kill people. Orcish armor, that's really not my stuff. But, battle of broken eyes, it's not what I want. I don't want to challenge you. Higher guards, there we go. I know a few men who can garrison your stronghold and I'll even recommend them to you for free. But first, you'll have to get my friend Felaine Aquas out of prison. She's being held in the prison under Hladu Canton of Vivek. Find a way to get her out and report back to me. Okay. Adding that to my Vivek quest. It's the Hladu Canton. That's just as well because I think I need to report to Crassus Curio so he can name me Horta Tour. Uh, and I want to free Frelin. So another good reason to go to Vivek once we're done here. Athletics 18, nice. I've been to the Fighters Guild. Let's see what books we have. Tough guy, eh? Uh, curse you, Ash Storms. Codus Colonius, actually there was a quest for him. I'm listening. Codus Colonius. Um, someone wanted to, all I wrote was Codus Colonius book. Well done me. What about the younger generation? I hear people complaining all the time how the younger generation of regimen is not the same as previous generations. That they seem too self-absorbed and don't understand honor, duty, piety and loyalty enough. I don't know how much of that is just normal gripping with elders or griping. I'm sure their parents complained about them as well probably okay could it have anything to do with the Serethi being worried about his son or it's just chit chat I don't know no no Farlin I don't think so all the houses I don't think so See if we have books for my nursery rhymes. No, that's that's not the books that she needs. Song of Exhaustion. I have it. Okay, I've been here already then. Fine. Just couldn't remember. She's wearing some uh, heavy armor boots and I can hear the cling 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 every time she walks. It's really quite weird. Lethry Manor is where we're going. I think it's to the left. It's so good to meet you. A warm welcome. More to the left. Venim. I was wrong. It's been a while since I've been here. Maraktong, Arabar, Lethry. Wow. Quite I'll a while well indeed. Move. Move. There we go. And we are looking for. Where is she? Fatharsa. I'm going to try the bedroom or the private quarters. The bedroom sounds good. Carissa, no. House brother no. Brother. Oh, Is that guards only on the
Maybe I should ask one of these. No. A warm welcome to you. They do not know her. House brother of brother. Entrance. No, let's go back to I suppose the bedrooms. A warm welcome to you. So many warm welcomes. Like <laughs> just five of them within what? No. There we go. Welcome, friend. You're Welcome nearly indeed. a legend around here. Please I need the expertise talk. of a vampire hunter because of my son. Okay, please. I need your help before he makes a fatal mistake and does his soul. Wow. I assume you have heard the talk from the servant. Well, there's no harm in telling you now. Sandvim wishes to become undead, a vampire. He thinks this will give him great power and respect. Foolish boy. His soul is in peril. Maybe you can work with me, then I show my son that vampires are not all powerful. Convince them they have weaknesses. I have treasures that will be of use to you, I am sure. Okay. Will you thank you, Danae? Maybe your words can succeed where mine could not. You will find something here in the manor, just a few rooms away from here, unless you show him that vampires are not as strong as he believes them to be. I fear for his life and his soul. Find a way to show him this. Please come back when you have convinced my son. I... I assume the only way I can convince... What kind of him. armor is that? It's, uh, oh yeah, it's a really gorgeous armor. The Brass God, if I'm not mistaken. See? Mm -hmm. right. So to convince him, I would assume you need vampire dust. It's so good to meet you. I do have, I haven't tidied my ingredients in a long while, so hopefully, yeah, <laughs> quite a bit, <laughs> brilliant. This one Quick save, just those. in case, Please. but, Speak. did my mother send you? What is the use? I will submit myself soon and finally become someone to be respected. Yes, that is what I wish to do. To taste the blood of the living, to walk the night at will, feeling the power cursing through my veins. I wish to become a vampire, to become truly powerful and respected. I wish to kill mortals and bathe in their blood. You are a foolish boy and an idiot, really. You think this will bring you respect? Let's try to be reasonable, but I kind of doubt it. Of course, respect, like the respect vampires receive, like the respect all vampires must get from us, ridiculous mortal. I must be one of them. It is the power that I crave, power to be able to crush any mortal man who would dare oppose me. Uh, you are a ridiculous young man. This power is nothing compared to the pain it brings. I'm still going to try to be reasonable. Pain? But, of course, pain to the mortals I will prey upon. I will slay them without mercy. I will whoop the knights with true power. I will kill all those who will not show me respect. I will show my family I am not weak. You are so weak. You do not understand the hunted loneliness of the undead. How do I know that? But let's go for it. You talk in circles. This is, there is loneliness in this life as well. Why will you not listen to me? They have strength that I need. I will join them. I want power to crush man and lure. Vampires are not as strong as you would believe. I hope this is when I can show the vampire dust. Yes, okay, this is, this is going in the right direction. I know they are strong. All vampires are powerful and feared and death incarnate. I know Myrta is strong. I know she cannot be bested by a mere mortal. This is all I desire. I will not rest until that power is mine. My family, my father, will respect me. Oh, I hope he's not going to send me to kill that Myrta. That would take more time than just showing the vampire dust I have. 
Many vampires are slain by mortals. No, you tell lies. I know this is not true. Why? You would kill me in battle. This is why I must be a vampire, to have that strength that they possess. Clearly, you do not think enough of me to allow me this power. Neither does my family. You could kill me. You must understand. My desire for vampire's power, Murta will give it to me. I'm gonna have to go and kill Murta, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, alright. Uh, I was so hopeful. Alright. Who is this Murta? How may I serve you? Oh, my foolish boy. We must stop him before he makes a fatal mistake and damns his soul. I do not know who this Murta is, Danai, but I know someone who might have a bio hunter named Anno Vando. I spoke to him earlier, but he was still recuperating and unable to help me directly. He's still in Aldrin. Okay. Guild of Mages. Alright. Guild of Mages we go. Uh, entrance, brilliant. Three blessings. I don't think there was anything else to do in here. Welcome, friend. We extend you our warm regards. Let's have a look at Moravin Manor. Uh, in the previous episode, I did gather information. That there might be a loot in there. Is this it? No, this is it. Is it? It is. I think I'll be okay with the two companions. Seventy. We'll try. I mean, I know I have the skeleton key, but I'd rather not use it. Apparently, I'm good. With this uh, luck picking business. Okay. Oh, but are you not my first corporal stalker? Nice. Medium armor is actually pretty good for me. Apparently, I've read that one, so. Honestly, my companions don't get a chance to help me. Updated. I have killed Romulus Moravin inside of Moravin Manor along with the blighted monsters. Why was he here fighting with them? Maybe there are some answers to be found on his body. Well, bloodstained journal ought to do the trick. My brother is wrong, wrong. We must throw the empire out of Morrowind. Never heard of the sixth house. I don't like all my dreams now, of course. Having dreams, the damned ash statues. I'm too curious. Come on. To 
think I opened the other one just like that. These are just so gross. Okay. Now, I mean, I know I mentioned it a long time ago, but Raven is, um, she's still a a work in progress and the one thing that okay the one thing that I did not actually play test is the dungeon unfortunately I'm quite strong already but we'll see how it goes so I don't have that much experience building Dungeons. Probably already have it. That looks well ugly. Mutant decom. Lots of um, interesting things. You will six house dreamer. The cool thing is they're equipped with uh, with modded things, even though I personally did not mod that. Uh, trapped. Okay, I'll, let's get rid of all the creatures and then worry about the loot. Don't think I have one just yet. Okay, the creatures are mostly leveled. Uh oh, what was that though? What are you? You Babylonian priest. I am not super, super psyched about... Girls? Look at the girls do their thing. My Dio Singer, she only knows the song of paralysis right now, so that's what she does. Let me help you. There we go. Everything is okay, that's good. Everything is locked. It's a bit odd, the basket on top of the table, but fair enough. I've been there. Discovering the creatures in there because they were added. I mean, I did modify them a bit, but primarily they were added by. Oh, wow. So 
covered and you know clad in enchanted items with 140 armor this is totally op honestly and the loot is a bit too good it's leveled so it feels too good right now uh what was i saying i did not create the creatures the the dungeon generator did and then i modified them i removed a lot of them basically i think i will remove the one that looks like uh dagoth ore because why why should a creature looks look like the, the big evil guy it doesn't make sense so that's something i will have to do NPCs, a cultist leader, I'm fine with that. The loot is not very random, that's not that good. Too much loot. Even though, even, oh, that's good. Raven? Even though I'm level 20, so the loot ought to be good, I feel it's really too good. So I'll have to change that. Hello Raven, thank you so much. I should get home and study my music books again. I'm sure my song will be more powerful now. Indeed. Does she, yeah, she equipped it straight away. Nice. We're still going to try and find out what's behind that door. remove these baskets on top of everything a few that's all right but all of them again this is uh this is added by the dungeon generator it it requires a bit more work i had removed some of the furniture that really really looked out of place but too many too many baskets oh, is that a skeleton there Wraith food pad I guess I must have killed that. That is a decent sized dungeon, mind you. Let's get out of here. Was that my last quest here in Aldrin? Pretty much. That's a good thing done. Let's go to Balmora, put the books in the bookcase and have uh, Raven learn a few more songs. And we can take the Soul Strider. What's happening? I thought the fight started. I really don't like those toys. Do you need something? Where is the Silt Strider? Find shot. Fighter skill, Guild of Mages, somewhere that way. There we go. Where would you like to Hello, Navan, to Balmora, please. No, we're not gonna do scenic travel. Not in that weather, absolutely not. We make a special for it, just for you. Same low right? A different Balmora. Nice. I honestly, I don't need my wings anymore. At this point, I can already jump pretty well and run fast enough. Okay. What is this about? Hello, pregnant lady. Tell your friends about this. Oh, I think so. I think so. And 
this is Raven's room. All right. Right now she only knows two songs, Song of Clumsiness and Song of Paralysis. Song of Darkness, Song of Exhaustion. Right. Um, I'm gonna have you... The magic is quite low. I'm gonna have you put away... Good. Put away the weaker loot. Paralysis I really like. Yes, use it. Exhaustion, I'm guessing it's gonna drain their fatigue, that could be good. Song of Darkness is going to cast Blind of them, actually. I, it doesn't say. But, you know, for the sake of variety, I'm gonna let her use all of them and see how that goes. Dirt, dirt, right. dirt, 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 everywhere, dirt. Instead of complaining, how about you... We can learn a number of battle songs, yes, yes, yes. But really... You could perform. Well, that was, um, you know, it was uh, quick, short, but so good. That's what I wanted. I have the Song of Darkness from Balmora, the Song of Exhaustion from Aldrin. I oh, Vivek, I need to buy a song. Song of Peace is going to be mesmerized, I hope. Vivek, book, music. Aldrin, I have. Dragon Fell. Music book as well. Suran. Music book. Tell Aaron. Oh, I was so close to Tell Aaron. And if I'm not mistaken, Tell Aaron, there is a Tell Vanny Master. So maybe I'll start with this one. Okay, and I'll take it so I know. For now. I think that was pretty good. I mean, we made some progress, quite a few quests. Um, hoping to see uh, Raven fight in the next episode, see how well she handles her songs. The way I did it in the mod, I try to do it in such a way that she would rotate between all the songs. We'll see how it goes. For now, that's it. I hope you have a lovely week and I see you in a week for the next episode. Bye-bye.